Hello everyone, so in today's tutorial I will be sharing with you how to make Duotone text portrait in Canva. So let's start with it. So I am be choosing Instagram post square format in Canva. So after choosing that, we will go to elements here. And I will be using these two images, okay? So let's uh, see the images, which is as you can see, if the first one is female model wearing a fashionable outfit and it is in pro format. The two pictures I am using because uh, I need to uh, use the same model for this design. You can use your own pictures for it. So the first picture is this one and the second picture is female model wearing summer clothing. Okay, so I will choose first image and after that let's make it bigger. Okay, so this one is done and let's mark now the half point which is uh, this one is 1080 cross 1080 so the half point will be 540. So as you can see the rulers are here so I will just bring the cursor to the half point which is here and as you can see this is the half point and after that just use this image and uh, just bring it right here and or you can just keep it right here no problem with that okay this one and after that let's click on share button and let's click on download and we will download it as uh, jpg or png doesn't matter let's uh, download it as png now so the downloading is done here and after that let's just remove it the picture and we'll go to uploads here and we'll just bring the image here and just make it till the edge okay so we'll move it to the right portion here and now we will add from the elements the frames which is I will go to see all and I will use the V and A. So the element is letter airframe. You can just uh, search this keyword and you can find it. And I will use this. I will just rotate it to 90 degrees. Place it right here. Then V again. Rotate it to 90 degrees and again A. So we will just duplicate it and place it right here. Okay. So as you can see, it is quite bigger from the frame. So I will click on Ctrl A and just hold on Shift and just unclick the layer of the picture and just use the frames okay so this one is done here so I will just decrease the size here and just increase here okay so this one is done now let's move it from this angle okay so this one is done. Now we need to use this image inside the frame. So for doing that we need to just duplicate it and just rotate it to minus 90 or uh, 90 degree anti-clockwise. Okay. So this one is done. Now click on add page and we will just need to duplicate it and just bring it right in here in the next frame. And again duplicate it again 
Okay, so we will first use in the first A and we'll just increase the size according to our main image. Okay, so just place it right here. So the first placing is done. Okay. So I will do for the next one. So the second one is also done. Now we'll work for the third one. And as you can see, the third one is almost done. And this one is also done. So as you can see the frames are quite invisible. So to make it visible let's work on the border style and let's click on this one and increase the border size to 7. Okay and the border color to white. Let's follow the same pattern for the other two. So as you can see the letters are visible here. Now we will bring the second image uh, but before that we need to crop this one till the half portion just more than that ok and now we will bring this image which is our second image and we will just bring it here and to make it to the same level just zoom it and just see the face size and we'll adjust the image accordingly. Okay, so the forehead is from here and the chin is still here. Okay, so I will adjust the image, the second image accordingly and we will make the adjustment similar. Okay, just make it slightly bigger. And use the arrow keys to adjust it. So I think this one is done here. Now let's bring it here and crop it. Okay. So this one is done. Now we will click on edit. Okay. And after that we will click on duo tone. After that, we will go to here cherry. You can uh, go to any type of color, but I will go with this. After that, I will go to the red color and work on uh, a bit more reddish and in the blue, a bit more in the bluish shade. Okay. So this is done. After that, we need to work for the final adjustments and holding on any of the layer, click on layers show layers and after that just bring the duotone layer just beside or just below the frame layer ok so the design is done some final adjustments and now the design is complete so hope you like this tutorial and hope you learn something from it and this is a new type of effect which you can try for your design and make your uh, designs or uh, your poster designs more interesting. Hope you learned something from this and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more beautiful tutorials like this. Thank you.